Hello and welcome to my tutorial. In this video I'm going to show how to use the map magic together with the micro split. Since the map magic version 1.10, the micro split support is built in. You don't have to download or write some scripts or something. Everything works just out of the box. So, as usual, I'm starting from an empty scene. But before creating the map magic object, I will set up the microsplat. It's not so exciting since there is nothing to show on a scene view, but absolutely necessary. First of all, I'm creating a folder where all of the microsplat assets will be stored. Then I'm creating a texture reconfig from the create microsplat menu. Then I will name it properly. Actually, the name doesn't matter, but I just like to keep things organized. As you can see, there are two texture arrays created with the config. One for the diffuse, and one for the normal and other maps. And now I'm going to add some textures to them, using the config. Pressing the Add Textures button will create a new layer, which I'm going to fill with the MapMagic demo maps. First, for the bright cliff. Then the dark cliff. And finally the green grass. Pressing the update button will recreate texture arrays and write all of the assigned textures to them. The next step I'm going to create the microsplat shader and the material. The shader is created from the microsplat menu as well. And to create the material with the shader, I've got to select the shader asset, right click on it and select create material. I will name it neatly too. This name we've got to remember since this material will be assigned in a graph. Then I set the texture arrays in a proper material slots. And one more step, and it's very important, is enabling use custom split maps toggle. Once I forgot to enable it and spent some time trying to find out why my split maps aren't showing. So cross check if it's enabled. Well now to the map magic part. Game object, 3D object, map magic will create it. Selecting it and pressing the show editor button will open up the editor graph. I will dock it somewhere. And I will move the hierarchy panel somewhere, because it's taking too much space. Now creating an output. All of the custom terrain materials work with the custom shader output node. Switch it to microsplat mode and assign the material we've created previously. The terrain settings should be properly configured, like the material type should be switched to custom, the base map should be turned off. It all could be done by pressing the fix buttons in the node. Now I add the first background terrain layer. When I change the index value, the terrain maps change according to the order we have assigned in the microsplat config. I will use the dark leaf as the background. Then I will add one more layer with the bright cliff. I will paint all of the bulge areas with it. To do this, I will be using the cavity node. It displays almost nothing, so I'm going to switch to preview. Here are some yellow dots. I will have to erase the node intensity now. This should be fine. You might want to regenerate on exiting preview, since the material isn't changing while in preview mode. Here the bulge areas are painted with the bright cliff. But as for me, the gradient between the two cliff types is too sharp. I will smooth it a bit with a curve. I'm just making the bright cliff mask a bit less contrast.
Well, this should be fine. And one more layer. It is the grass with the index of 2. I will place the grass on the flat areas, leaving the cliffs on slopes. I will be using the slope node to do this. Now it creates the mask from 45 degrees up to 90 degrees. So no surprise that now we've got the grass on the slopes. To make the grass on the flat areas, we've got to use the steepness from 0 up to, let's say, 45. 45 is too much. 25 looks like okay. But I don't really like the way the grass works. I'd like to see the bulge areas protruding through the grass. Well, a bit. Well, here's the hammock. It would be nice if we could lower the grass value here. I kind of subtract the bulge areas from the grass mass. And literally, we will subtract it with the blend node. I will be using the old slope mask as the base layer. And switch the blend mode to subtract. And connect the bulge mask to the subtract input. Here you can see the bulges are protruding through the grass. They are a bit too noticeable, so I'm going to lower the subtract amount. Now I've added some fog, copied the character from the MapMagic demo scene, and going to see how it all looks from the player's perspective. You see it generates the new chunks for me. I will include this scene with all of the other MapMagic demo stuff in version 1.10. Of course you will not be able to view it unless you have the microsplat. For now, I've just showed the way a microsplit material could be used with the map magic. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and bye.